All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. But why is that so hard to do? Why do we feel like there's never enough time? Hey procrastinators, Julia here for DNews. Have you ever wondered why you will happily do nothing on a beach for a few hours on end, but won't wait in line for just a few minutes? Well, science is on the case. Two recent papers published in the Journal of Consumer Research looked into how we experience time. One paper identified factors that make consumers experience time in wonky ways. The researchers examined five elements that need to be in tune. Technology, consumer skill, their plans and moods, rules and regulations, and cultural understanding need to all align to make time pass at just the right speed. To look at real world examples of this, when the elements are in tune, the researchers studied athletes of extreme sports like free skiing. Skiers aren't impatient waiting for the next jump. They understand that it's all part of the experience and use that time to their advantage, where most of us get impatient in line at the post office. Social decorum makes us wait, yet we are already thinking of what else we have to do. Those five elements are out of alignment for us, and time seems to drag on. Speaking of thinking of all the stuff we have to do can also make us feel the strain of time. Research published in the same journal found that people feel busier when they are close to reaching a goal. In several studies, the researchers found that people tolerate interruptions less the closer they are to finishing a task. Think of a big goal you have, like going on a trip to London. That big goal is made up of smaller goals, which the researchers called sub-goals, like getting a taxi to the airport, checking in, going through security, arriving at the gate, taking a train to the terminal, you get the idea. In one of the studies, they asked people in airports to fill out a survey. Some people were waiting for a train to get to the terminal, while others had just arrived at the gate. The people who had just arrived at the gate were more likely to take the survey, even though they had actually less time till takeoff. But they were further from completing one of their smaller goals, so they felt like they had more time. The people waiting for the train were so close to getting on that train, which would check off a sub-goal, that they felt like they had less time than they actually did. The researchers think one of the reasons we feel so busy and will put off other things that might also be important is because we are so wrapped up in these smaller trivial goals, like getting on the train. Another study published in the Journal of Marketing Research has another idea of why we feel so busy. The researchers asked participants to list certain tasks in order and to find if there were any in competition for time or money. The researchers found that when participants felt like tasks were in conflict for time, they felt more stressed, which isn't all that surprising. But they also found that even when tasks didn't compete for time, but competed for things like money or emotional resources, people were just as anxious and that made them feel pressed for time. They call this a false sense of anxiety, that it's all about perception. You might not actually be pressed for time, you just think you are because of stress or anxiety. But have no fear, there are ways to manage this feeling. The researchers suggest deep breathing to reduce immediate feelings of anxiety and to reframe that emotion as positive, like psych yourself up, tell yourself you're excited. and. Prioritize. I know it's hard, but that feeling of, oh my god, how am I going to get this all done, will ease if you just breathe and start on one task at a time. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. Guys, 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 did you know that scientists can slow down time, like, for real? Trace will tell you all about it in this video. GPS satellites, for example, are 20,000 kilometers up, going 14,000 kilometers an hour. So relative to an observer on the ground, the GPS satellites are going to lose about 7 microseconds every day. So how do you deal with time management? Let us know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here to DNews. We've got new episodes every day of the week.